So this is how I've figured out how to uh, put a canoe on my car here by myself. It's a Honda Fit 08 model. I wanted to do something uh, without a roof rack and quickly. So uh, it uh, mostly involves two pool noodles here. These uh, this is our canoe bag of other items. So two larger size um, pool noodles ended up sticking a rope between them. Um, without a rope, they'll end up uh, falling off the car when you don't want them to. So. Uh, Open that door, stick one end of the rope, has a knot in it, uh, right about there in the car. Uh, I'll do the same with this other one here. And put that right near the back. You want to uh, load up all your gear in the trunk before, because once it's shut, you won't be able to open that up easily. Um, I'll do that here. Place it about there. Um, I'll also show you at the front here, um, tie downs. I ended up just taking some webbing and uh, if you can see that, tie them around the frame of the car in here, they just fold in and I keep them there. Uh, you can also get some removable ones that just go on the edge of the hood here. That's an option as well. This worked just as easily for me. So there's our tie downs in the front. All right. our pool noodles are set there. And here are the other elements that we'll use. Um, we've got these foam blocks. Two of them I'll place up here. The other two I'll grab with me and get them there in a second. Then these items are handy. This is just a ratcheting, uh, a ratchet on the end of a rope with a hook that we use both in the front and the back. Put the back one here. Got another one of those that we'll put at the front. Oh. It's tied up here. And this, just sort that out. There we go. One for the front, so we'll put one up by the hood. Just tie that down. This will be a red flag for the for the back. And then Two, two ratchets, um, and there's also some removable zip ties. I'll show you those in a minute. So uh, I will just put those in the back seat here for a second. Put that in there. So also to let you know, I went ahead and removed just this antenna that was unscrewed from the top of the car. So placing this about there, we're gonna come in from the back with a canoe drag it onto the front and put the blocks in place when they're ready here. So let's go ahead and do that. Canoe's back here. And I just took a silver permanent marker, drew some lines on the canoe of where these blocks go. Here's one, I'm just gonna crawl under here, look for my mark, put the other. And get this up on the back. There we go. And uh, this works well with a Honda Fit that has a big back. I've also seen some people use a, uh, uh, a rug or a blanket on the back of their car if they don't have such a big, big hood. So I'm gonna place it about here, rest the back on the ground and the front. Now I'm gonna walk around. There's the canoe angled up. We're ready to just roll it into position there. And you see the back. I'm just gonna now hold it from the back here and and guide it up. So with my hands, I'll just try to keep it in the center of the car. There we go. Push it, rolls up nicely. Just looking on both sides to make sure it's centered and I know right at about the right spot when my blocks here at the back are right in position. Um, so I'm just actually going to go ahead and on the fit here, there's a nice tie down hook underneath here. I'll just hook that there. Tie the other end right here. I just stuck a piece of rope to that handle, grab handle. That just really nicely ratchets down 
Uh, also, to release this, you just let go and it quickly releases. Otherwise, it's a really nice way to do this quickly. Yeah, I'll do that. Then we will get our blocks in place in the front. Again, I put a little marker where I need these blocks. Just gonna put it there, around the other side of the car. Gonna open the door here. Since we're done with our pool noodles, essentially just remove those. I see another mark here block goes so I'll just put that in place there we go this pool noodle is done I can put it uh, just in the back seat this one here we need to get up and out of here just lift the canoe up a bit and pull that out there we go let me uh, get my block on the other side go so these foam blocks are in place they've got a textured bottom to grip really well just look to see if that's where I want my canoe like a few adjustments there we go great that looks good I'm going to tie down the front now so just with this grab handle up here I'm gonna go ahead and this through the grab handle connect it if you can see that on one of these tie downs on the front go to this other side and same thing tighten that up I'm just gonna tighten that so it's nice and tight not too bad there we go do the same thing in the back oh some came undone that down nicely and uh, once that's tight I can go ahead and I'll just put the excess in there and add my flag this is one of the um, reusable zip ties here so you can just pinch that and undo it really quick and handy so I have that on my flag I'll put that around here as well so now I've got the flag going out the back to make sure we're compliant with uh, laws of the road and now we just put our harnesses or sorry our uh, ratchet straps on so here's one again I just used these uh, found a lot of uses for these reusable zip ties the key thing to do here is uh, put a twist in your strap um, on each end of the canoe or else it'll hum very loudly in the car but just a simple twist uh, we'll resolve that for you. So I'll show you that here in a second. Oh, sun's binoculars. <clears throat> here we go. Remove that zip tie. Just put that in my pocket, actually. Okay. So. I'm going to actually go ahead and open this door on the other side. Stand up in the car, put one strap over. And the same thing with the other one. Great. Reach in. I'm just gonna connect those. I already have them set to the right length, approximately. There we go. And uh, I just use the back door. My kids sit in the back. They don't mind these ratchet uh, tie downs as much. So. Uh, Put one in the front 
of the door frame and one in the back. So I connect them first and then I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. Just before it's too tightened down, I go in and just put one or two twists in there and that'll stop this thing from humming. Uh, tighten that one up a bit. Again, put two twists in there to remove that really annoying humming sound. Tighten it up. There we go. Same with this one. There we go. Close the door. I think we just need to double check everything. So that's there. Make sure the front and back are still tight. So I have this loose rope here. I'll wrap that up in my hand. Use one of these removable zip ties and uh, tighten that up here. There we go. Cinch down and then just double check that everything's alignment and stable. And if I move the canoe, the whole car moves. So that's a good sign. And then just to uh, Again, just whip those inside the car, the pool noodles, and uh, just reverse that to, to take it off. Hopefully that's helpful. Good luck.